so in this video we will understand how to create a contract so generally what happens is when you wanted to create a contract in the system there should always be a template which is present in the back end okay here you see lot of templates one to one to template prati kariba testing so these are lot of the templates which are created by our students but if you wanted to create a template the uh, sorry the contract first thing what you need to ensure is there is already a template present now what is the name of the contract i need to create maybe contract one two maybe something like the test and here what is value what is this copy from contract copy from contract is nothing but these are already the contracts which are already present in the system if you just choose them all the value from this contract gets copied okay there is some field called test project what is it so the test project is nothing but this is just created for the test purpose and it will not directly impact any budget or for which you know it is not it's like a dummy contract we are which are getting created so but since let's say i am not doing that i'm actually creating this field to create an actual contract so i'll put it as no here you see hierarchical type so hierarchical type is nothing but once you click on it you see few options standalone master and sub agreement so standalone agreement is used where there is no connection there is no any parent agreement which is associated with it you will use a master agreement when you create a contract this contract as a parent contract and you want to attach another maybe sub agreement or a sub contract to it so you depends what you're going to choose okay and the supplier supplier is already there and the, the, the affected parties you can understand all of it which commodity which region you are creating this for and which department and all here you can reach out to ariba and create a custom fields as well it depends on your requirement okay always remember wherever the fields which has asterisk they are mandatory and you have to maintain them okay so everything is fine i click on create so here you would see that you know there are i once i click on the create if you go to the tasks here you would see initial phase how this task has coming this has task has come in by from the template the one to one to template that we have chosen and the document is the same as well so i just come here you know i have initiated this task i have completed this let's say mark started okay in the mark started i did the task then i come here mark is complete here what is it? The, the documents documents is nothing but i just download the draft if i'm working on this contract then i need to uh, prepare this document this is in draft status prepare the document and i have to maybe load it and publish it so i'm not doing all of that i just downloaded the document but generally what happens is maybe i can go to downloads uh, okay um okay let okay let me okay unlock okay so download the document uh here you would see a main agreement which was downloaded so i just come here see you see a big agreement you would read all of it uh, you know it depends on the project and all of that you read all of it then you again you know mention your comment and load back to the documents once everything is done you come to uh, you know um actions if you want to edit the overview if you want to edit any parameters you edit it so if you see here the incomplete tasks are zero so this is the window which will act as a reference point for you um in case to know you know if everything has done properly or not or if what task has to be done you can go here and you know have a look at it so there is a tab over here called publish so when i click on the publish the contract is now published so this is like there are a lot of other tabs as well and there is we can talk a lot about contracts but this is like the basic thing 
in the overview give you give the necessary parameters and the tasks you work on the necessary tasks you upload the documents and all of that and you just submit or the publish it submit it or publish it and all of that now this is good there is another topic within contracts what you need to understand is amendments so when you do an amendments there are different kinds of amendments out there amendments are nothing but there are changes to the contract what kind of change you want to do do you want to renew the contract time you want to terminate the contract you want to change the contract attributes so what kind of change you are planning to do maybe i will try to click on renewal and i just press okay okay it's because just a test i am just writing all of that so i come here and when i check this um i if you remember i just did a renewal contract and I come to edit attributes okay make necessary changes okay yeah. so here i will be doing a change uh, to the timeline okay let me come here see there are a lot of parameters out there you will do the change in the necessary parameter and then just load it back so i'm just checking the timelines So yeah, so here there is an effective date. I will change the effective date to 29. So it is one such example. So this is how you know you there are some topics like amendments as well, which are associated to the contracts, which has to be looked upon. So I did everything. I'm going to come to actions and I will publish. So that's how the contract data is maintained in Ariba.